Hello wine people, do you know what are the three ways that wines can be stabilized? Let's go! Wines will change over time and the winemakers know this, but winemakers want to understand how the wine will change and how fast the wine will change. We know for example that high volume inexpensive wines are not meant for long aging, they're meant for fast consumption where a vintage port will age for 60 plus years and it will throw a heavy deposit in the bottle. Three ways that the wine can be stabilized is tartarat stability, oxygen stability and microbiological stability. Tartarat stability means that the winemaker wants for this tartaric acid to be stable inside the wine which is really not. So this tartaric acid in the wine develops as crystals over time. These crystals are harmless but not really aesthetically pleasing. People don't know what they are. So in order to remove these tartaric crystals that will show over time, the winemaker will force these crystals to create right away by dropping the temperature of the wine. And then he will filter the crystals out through the process of filtration. Winemakers that do not want their wine going through filtration you will usually not put their wine through tartaric stability, which is fine. Microbiological stability means that the wines can be harmed by yeast and bacteria and this yeast and bacteria can destroy the wine. In order for the wine not to get in contact with yeast and bacteria, the wine usually needs to have a good protection with SO2 and or needs to go through sterile filtration. Some wines are more prone to this microbiological st instability than others, like wines that are high in acidity, high in alcohol, dry, that went through malactic conversion. They're more stable than wine that are low in acidity, low in alcohol, didn't go through malactic conversion and have some residual sugar. Oxygen stability means that the wine cannot have too much oxygen dissolved inside the wine. If this is the case, when the wine is bottled, the wine will oxidize very fast. In order for the winemaker to prevent this, he needs to have a good control over oxygen during the winemaking with using sulfur dioxide and then also to make sure that no oxygen enters the wine during bottling stage, he can flush the wine with carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas. Wine people, let's simplify wine together, stay thirsty and wise.